The financial review, of course, yeah. Anthony Albanese, uh, he's come up with uh, a $10 billion house price fix. And, of course, uh, uh, it's also the splash in the Sydney Morning Herald. Albanese vows $10 billion for social housing, a promise to establish a $10 billion future fund to build 30,000 low-cost houses, including 10,000 affordable dwellings for frontline workers who cannot afford to live in the suburbs they service, is the centrepiece of Labor leader Anthony Albanese's response to the federal budget. Mr Albanese has also pledged $100 million in incentive payments of up to ten grand for 10,000 apprenticeships in the clean energy sector. Uh, Lisa, two questions. First of all, uh, are Australians mm -hmm. listening to our Anthony Albanese right now? And secondly, what did you think of uh, Frydenberg's budget on Tuesday night? Well, first of all, during this entire pandemic, it's been really tough for opposition's the opposition leaders anywhere yes. to really have a strong voice. So Albanese went into this tonight. It was his his moment to try and shine. He had 30 minutes to talk to, on a, on a, to a national audience. Uh, look, I don't know about you, but I watched the entire 30 minutes and it didn't exactly have me had set my world on fire. But look, everybody is talking about the budget as being... It was the pre-election budget. Labor really had nowhere to go as far as the big spend because that's exactly what Frydenberg went out there and did. It was, it was an absolute spendathon. But that then leaves Albanese going, well, what am I left with? Because you know, Frydenberg and Scott Morrison have come out and they've thrown $17 billion plus into aged care. Well, that would have been something Labor would have targeted. They threw money at women's issues, which is another one that Labor would have targeted. 3.7 so they, billion. They, they, child care. Yeah, child, child care uh, was another whopping amount of money that they, they threw into it. It was over a billion for women's issues. And if you look, listen to carefully to Albanese tonight, he, he came out with a line that you would fully expect, which was him ha, you know, relating to his or trying to appeal again to what should be the Labor base. So the fact that he was the, the child of a single mum, she was on a disability pension, he came through living in, in council housing... He, he really harked back to that the background that he has to try to say, look, I haven't lost touch, I understand. Mm. But when you look at the polling, 41% you know, of mm. ALP voters alone aren't supporting Albanese as their preferred Prime Minister. So you know, he has a long way to go. And his big thing tonight mm. was about jobs. Well, if you talk to anybody in the resource sector... They think Labor's abandoned them, and, and we're going to see that, I think, great when you point, see this Hunter Lisa Biden come around. Great point, mm. great point. So, look, I just think... Uh, he's, from the, he's from the wrong faction. I mean, you know, the left faction of the Labor Party should be hived off, call the Socialist Party, mm -hmm. and let the real Labor Party, the one yeah. who stand up for the voters, let them get on with the job. I don't think... I mean, Jim Chalmers could have delivered uh, the Liberal Party, uh, um, you know, budget on Tuesday night. I mean, that's how much... The pendulum has shifted in the sense, you know, of ideology. But anyway, mm. I, I agree with you. The workers of this country don't trust the Labor Party right now. That's the big issue.